<laughs> Today is a has been a travel day, <laughs> and I got here just in time to get this video, uh, this intro and everything filmed for you before it gets dark, the sun setting behind me. I am in a remote location in Arizona today, but the video that you are about to see was set in New Mexico, and I got to boondock and see a good friend of mine. And I just want to tell you that tomorrow's video is about some reflections that I've been able to have while out here boondocking. And so stay tuned for that. It's a little bit different. It's not a travel video. It's going to be about some things that I've learned and that I've discovered about myself. So this video, I got to see Linda May. Linda is featured in my book, The Journey Begins. She is in the story, All Things Sane and Iffy. And she's one of the sane ones, I promise, her and LaVon. But that is who I got to go see. And also, uh, if you haven't bought it yet, be sure to check out Jessica Bruder's book, Nomadland. It says across the top of it now, soon to be a major motion picture. And it will be starring Frances McDermott. And that has already been announced on the World Wide Web, so I'm not releasing anything ahead of time that I shouldn't be. And Linda stars in that, and I got to be an extra on that set, as did my friend Al. And you will see a picture of us cutting up and uh, me trying to make Al laugh because Al just got through with his chemotherapy treatment. And the photo that you're going to see of him is him in a jacket and a hat that he bought on the internet to make him happy when he was going through his chemotherapy. So I'm going to sign off and let you enjoy the wonderful boondocking that I got to do in New Mexico, as well as seeing my friend Linda. And we got to see yaks and llamas and go into Taos and do the historic uh, square there. And just lots of fun and I hope you enjoy. So I just walked, I don't know, not very far, about a mile and a half. You can see Fancy Free way up on the hill back there. And I can't wait to get over this hill and see what is here where all the trees are. It's so pretty and the uh, vegetation is changing drastically. There's cactus down here and flowers. Um, I'm still on BLM land. I think it's probably a creek because of the trees. But let's go see. Well, it is definitely a creek or a wash. You can't see this area, you guys, from Fancy Free, and I can't get Fancy Free down here. Uh, so you just never know what you're gonna find when you're on a walk. It's just got a beautiful outcropping of rocks. There's lava beds everywhere, hawks, cranes. So there's gotta be water somewhere. Let me see if I can stop and get this crane for you. able to find the water today but there's all kinds of scat and tracks and everything down here it took me about six hours to try drive around and find this place and like I've shared with you before when I find remote locations I don't put where they are on the World Wide Web because then they're no longer available or they get trashed or they get closed from overuse uh, but if this was on a public website already I would share it with you but get out explore you never know what you're gonna find I have enjoyed my time here thoroughly I will tell you that I am in northern New Mexico and I'm on my way to see my friend Linda May
hope you enjoyed that. And like I said, uh, we had just gotten to camp, so Bandit was eating a while ago, but he's back. And he says, hi, everybody, and I say, see you down the road. <laughs>